Hi, I'm Steve. Welcome back to the Maker's Cave. And today we're going to continue the Agore Models Ladder 9 from the Fire Department of New York. This will be Pack 10. I will leave a link below to this build and Agore if you want to do any of their other builds. Uh, we're getting close to the end. This is, this is like I said, Pack 10. So we only have 11 and 12 after this one. And as you saw in the other videos, it's getting bigger and bigger. So what we'll do is we'll bring you guys forward, give you top down, and We'll see what adventures this box has for us today. We're going to start off with uh, stage 63 in pack 10. And here are all the parts for 63. You're going to start off with this hose reel we're going to put together. And you'll notice the, the, get them oriented like this so that the flat sides are up like this. And you're just simply going to bring these two pieces together. Now that you have these press fit together, you just simply fit it into your hose reel bracket. Now you want to take your, uh, what are they calling this, this bearing cap. And this is what I want to show you. I'll zoom in here. On the inside of the hose reel, there's a little ridge right there. And there's a little cut out. Oops. And there's a cutout on the bearing. So when you put this bearing in here, you want that cutout to fit that ridge in here. You may have to turn it around. Okay, it's in there. Now that's all secure in here. You want to take your uh, the securing peg that they have and just slide that right in. Make sure that the reel can move. Now that you have your hose reel in the bracket, you're going to turn it upside down so this square portion is up top and the little pegs down here. You take the uh, boom bracket and you place it on there and that's going to get held in with a B screw. There's the reel attached to the reel bracket. I called that the boom bracket before I made a mistake. It's called the reel bracket. At this point, you want to go back, get your truck. You want to raise the ladder, or at least the boom for the ladder. And you'll notice that there are two little pegs. One's bigger than the other, and the reel is going to fit just like this. Now, when I dry fitted it, the two little holes that these pegs fit in didn't quite uh, fit. So I just took my X-Acto knife and I opened up these holes a little bit. And now it goes right on. And they'll get held in with two, um, oops, they'll get held on with two B screws. So there is the hose reel and bracket all attached to the boom. So that's it for stage 63. You've got the uh, ladder bracket or the uh, hose reel bracket and the hose reel attached to the boom. You will have this ladder bracket left over. So just put that away for in the future. Moving on to stage 64. Here are all the parts. Looks like we're going to be doing some more reel work. Take your two reel parts. You want to identify the flat section on each part and then you just bring them together and press fit them. Next you want to take your real bracket and just slide it right into there. Now take your real motor and like in the previous stage there is a notch on here that's going to fit the ridge in here. And you just got to turn it around until it fits in there and lines up. Then you're going to take your pin and much like before you're just going to slide it into there. Press fit it and there you go you got another reel done. 
Now hold your whole real assembly here and there's a little D-shaped hole here which goes the motor control box and it looks like that just gets press fit right in. Gets press fit in but I go to it, well, it feels a little loose to me so I'm going to put a little bit of glue on there. And with a little bit of CA glue, that box is on there, not going anywhere. So now we go back and get our boom. We take the hose reel we just did with the motor on the outside. It's going to fit right onto this bracket. And it's going to get held in with some B screws again. Both reels are now on. Looking pretty sharp. That brings us to the end of 64. Now let's move on to 65. Parts for 65 or stage 65 are pretty simple. Uh, you just got this lower middle, middle section and uh, this stop plate here. The lower mid section has a little hole, a little D shaped hole, and this stop plate. Is going to go into it now if you flip this stop plate over there is a hollowed recess right here on this side and that's going to face that way there's a little bit of flashing around the peg on the stop plate so I'm going to try and clean that up The stop plate's on there, but I don't like how it's held in there. I think it, it feels secure, but I want to make sure. So on the back, where the hole is that it goes through, I'm just going to add a little bit of glue there to strengthen that up. With a little bit of glue, that stop plate is now installed. And that brings us to the end of stage 65. That was a simple one. You've got some C screws and some I screws left over. Now we'll move on to uh, 66. Here's the parts for 66. Pretty similar to the last uh, stage we did. Uh, we're probably going to be putting another one of these stop uh, plates in here. And I think there's also going to be another bracket here. Your lower midsection. And here is the stop plate. Uh, the empty uh, the empty hollow recess is going to point that way and again this is tight use a little glue and again with that glue that stop plate's not going anywhere now you want to take the water pipe bracket and that goes, if you see there's a little raised end dent right there. So just fit that on top, whoop, as it flies off. There we go. Put that, that goes right on top there. And that's going to get held in with a C screw. And here's the pipe bracket all screwed in. Next, take the midsection from the lower midsection from the previous stage and this stage, and you just want to bring them together. And two I screws will hold this section together. And that is it for stage 66.
The parts for 67 are pretty similar to the previous stages with another pipe bracket and another um, stop bracket, I think they're calling it right here, or stop plate, I'm sorry. So we're going to start off by, once again, there's that little hole there. And like before, I am just going to open that up now so I don't have to fight with that stop plate. Flipping it over. Again, there's the hollow end of the stop plate that faces the end of the, uh, I think they're calling this the upper midsection. Little bit of glue, a little bit of zip kicker, that stop plate's not going anywhere. Again, you got a little post right here. This is where your pipe bracket's going to go. And that gets going to held on with a C screw. Stop plate, pipe bracket. And obviously, with just those few parts, stage 68 is done. Oh, I'm sorry, stage 67 is done. We're going to be on, moving on to stage 68. Stage 68 parts, only two of them. And guess what? We're taking another stop plate, and we're putting it into here. And the hollow end of the stop gate goes towards this end. Some glue and zip kicker again, and that stop plate's not going anywhere. Now you go back and get the midsection from the previous stage, and much like before, you're just going to line these up and assemble them with some eye screws. And we'll set this aside for later. Now you want to take your two midsections that you've put together. And you're going to notice one is thicker than the other. So you just gently push one into the other. Take that new little extension you just built. And if you remember, we have two leftover um, ladder guides. One is a little wider than the other. One also has pegs separated farther apart. You want to take that one and just attach that with the guide just like that onto the end of that inner midsection and that gets held in with some C screws. So now that you have this ladder guide up here, that is the end of stage 68. So we're going to move on to stage 69 now, which I think is the last stage in this pack. And you still have left over the other uh, ladder bracket or the ladder guide. Stage 69 is pretty simple. We only have these five parts. I forgot to turn the camera on. Completely forgot. And it was one of the most exciting parts of, the, of, of this stage or of this pack. So you take your silver boom making sure that the ladder guides are up you insert it into the white boom that's on the ladder truck so the boom can expand now at this point since i had the camera turned off i could hide my mistakes but i'm not going to on this section of the white boom on this side and this side there are two small spotlights, if you recall, we put on in the previous stage. Well, while sliding this in here, my hand slipped. It went down here, and it snapped both of these off. So when you're putting this boom in, be very, very careful. I can't believe I, didn't, I turned the camera off. And I didn't catch that. Oh, it was such. This is really cool. So off camera, I'm going to put these lights back on. Then we'll come back. I just wanted to show you I did glue the two spotlights back on so with putting the silver boom into, into the white boom that's on the bottom right here the 
you know, the upper, the middle, and the lower. Uh, that is the end of this pack, end of stage 69, and the end of pack 10. Um, we did not too much, too many pieces in this one, but we did get a lot done. Look at that boom. That is humongous. So, um, if you're doing this, I hope maybe some of the mistakes or some of the things I did right is helping you in your little journey of doing this. Like I said below, I'll put a link below to this model on Agora and any of the tools and supplies that I used. Um, like I said, we're getting to the end. This is pack 10. We only have 11 and 12 left. Um, and 11, I think, is the diorama, so that leaves just 12 is the only thing left but parts, which would be nice if we put some uh, rear wheels, wheels on this. Uh, so, hey, thanks for doing this with me. I'm Steve. Um, thanks for stopping by the Maker's Cave, and I'll see you at the next build.